Gin Reviews from South Florida. Tonight is a special night because I possess a bottle of Beef Eater Wet. A product that was discontinued in 2005. But I somehow managed to get a bottle of this and I am so excited. Um, I just, I've always wanted to try this. I remember when it came out and uh, I wasn't drinking gin at that time. But yeah, and so, uh, but I remember thinking like, that sounds very cool. So, there's not a lot of information out there, uh, go figure, but since it's been discontinued, I believe that's the issue. Beef Eater Wet, released in 1999 and discontinued in 2005, was designed to be a different style of gin, slightly sweeter and more fruity than classic Beef Eater, and along with Tanqueray Malacca, they laid, which I also have, they laid the groundwork for the new way of thinking about gin that eventually led to the rise of contemporary style gin. Interestingly, both of these gins were marketed in the U.S. and today, this is where this style of gin is most popular. Beef Eater Wet departed from the classic recipe with the addition of extra spice, pear essence, and a little sugar. It's also bottled at 37.5% ABV rather than the usual 40% or 47%, which isn't anymore per the norm for the UK and the United States. 15 year old discontinued product. Uh, thank God it's not eggs, right? <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, all right. Familiar, but yet weaker snap of the top. Look at the legs on this guy, huh? Ooh. There's definitely some sugar in here. Wow. Okay, so there was um, a few different things I read about the pear essence. Uh, a few sites said that they use 17 different styles or types of pears um, for this, and I, I definitely smelled a lot of pear in here. Hmm. You know, it, it doesn't really smell like beef eater, but it does in a weird way. It's like, it is, it's like the light version. <laughs> All right, so juniper is up front, which is nice. And then I got the earthy tones and then the pear, the fruit and the pear. There's like a hint of um, like oxidation. But I got a feeling that's just the way it's supposed to be and it's not because it's so old. <laughs> let's hope. Um, let's do this. Salute. It's beef eater, all right. I love this. This is beautiful. This is really good. Um, it has the same profile as their flagship. It has the juniper up front. Um, there's a good burn to it, even though it's a little less on the um, alcohol. But the burn is a typical beef eater burn. I mean, it's traveling very nice and slow, and it's bringing the warmth, you know, that like it's quite smooth and it's sweet and the pear is just coming through and all facets of of the neat drink it's um I can see how this was like one of the gins that paved the way to the modern gin uh, craze or style that's happening um you know what this is a very very nice beef eater if it, i mean if i'm gonna rate this uh, against other beef eaters i think this is a very very um a stand-up gin it's a gin for sure even though it's not a london dry it's still a gin and i taste the juniper in it i taste the earthy i taste the beef eater in it now but the pear is still, uh, still there. 
it's still going. Okay, we're about to do our classic uh, GNT on this beautiful product by Beef Eater that's discontinued. I'm going to do standard two ounce. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, my mother and I were just talking about how it's about to, <laughs> hell's about to come. It already looks like it's really dark out there, so, hey, you never know, this could be a, you know, a trauma video. <laughs> All right. I'm using this big old goblet because it might be the last time I drink out of it, so, salute. We're going to put some tonic in there, and, uh. Oh yeah, let that effervescence just go ahead and do its magic. Magic. Alright, let me try this without citrus. Mmm. So good. It's so good. The quinine, it definitely boosted the juniper and the earthiness of the gin, which I'm guessing is still orris in there, you know, almond, um, licorice, angelica, what beef eater uses for its uh, botanicals. All right, we're gonna do a little lime. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put everything in this one tonight. It's expressed. And lemon. Beautiful, sweet, great fruit. That is just look at that. All right, and then I'm upping the ante here, and I'm gonna throw in my Angostura, uh, the regular flagship bitters, and the orange bitters as well. And. Let's see, I found, I think I already told you guys this, but here is the original spoon, uh, bar spoon <laughs> that I that I used in the in the earlier videos. Look at the size of this one compared to this one. <laughs> it's crazy. And it's funny because now I have about, I don't know, five or six of those. And I don't remember buying any of them. Alright, so... Well, I know I bought this one. This was the one. I actually went out, searched for it, because I was on a mission that day. I found it in a Kroger. The Kroger's. We don't have Kroger's down here in Florida. I don't know why. It's such a good store. I mean, I liked it. I had a good time. All right, here we go. Look at this beautiful Spanish-style uh, GMT. Hmm. Oh, my God. I don't know why they discontinued this. It's so good. It's like an old Tom. They added this overabundance of pears. It feels like they did, you know, their... Whoa! That one was a little bit louder. All right, well, I better go before... Uh, yeah, there's the end of this. Um... <laughs> Well, as if this is the end, I'm going to enjoy the shit out of this drink right here. So we did Beef Eater Summer, Beef Eater Wet, Beef Eater Regular with the lowered uh, alcohol, and we did Beef Eater 24. And the last one is this right here that I can find, Beef Eater Pink, which was from Tennessee and never opened it. And I owe a friend uh, the review, and uh, I'll... I'll talk about that when we do this one. Here's hoping that you guys can find uh, Beef Eater Wet out there and if you've had it before and if it was something that you really liked, leave me a message. Tell me what what, what you loved about it. Like what did you do? What, what kind of cocktail did you have? I'm so curious. Um, it wasn't like I was a little kid when this came out. Just like I said, I wasn't drinking um, hard liquor at that time or gin at all, even. So weird to think. Well, you guys have a wonderful, uh, safe rest of your day, morning, afternoon, whatever it is, and hopefully uh, we'll come back to do another review again tomorrow, 5 o'clock.
5 p.m. Come on in, have a drink with me. All right, take care, salute you bastards, and all the fun stuff. Adios. Ciao.